welcome back to my channel. My name is Barbie Marie and I'm so pumped that you're going to work out with me today. Today is going to be an awesome leg workout. So we're going to focus on the glutes, but we're also going to hit the quads, the hamstrings, and the calves. So all of the above, a nice thorough leg workout. Hopefully you still like me in a couple of days. Um, hopefully you're not too sore. <laughs> but I've already warmed up today. I'm going to do a separate video of a thorough warm up for a leg workout. But Please, please warm up for between five to 10 minutes. I really like jump rope, jogging in place, jumping jack, something to get the heart pumping, the heart rate up a little bit, and the blood pumping through the muscles efficiently. <laughs> I've got Hudson here on the floor playing with his toys, if you can hear that. So please, please take the time to do a five to 10 minute warm up, and then come and join me for this awesome leg workout. First move, you're gonna need a set of medium to heavy dumbbells. So I'm gonna grab my 15 pound dumbbells. And you're gonna hold the dumbbells at your shoulders. Okay, here we go. First move, guys. We're gonna stay in this lower squat position and we're gonna do 12 squat taps, we'll call them, straight out to the side. So starting with that narrow stance squat, and then just stepping out to the side to a little bit wider of a stance. A little bit wider than shoulder width apart. We're keeping the dumbbells at the shoulders, engaging the core. So loading the dumbbells on your shoulders like this makes it a little bit more challenging for your core. So we wanna be working as many muscles as possible. And this will do it. Let me tell you, after this workout, I was sore for three days. So this is a very thorough leg workout. So if you're a beginner, please feel free to not use any weights and just do this with your body weight. It will be plenty of a workout, trust me. So we've got 12 to the other side and then I'm gonna set my heavier dumbbells down and we're gonna go straight into I call these a sprinter lunge. So you're taking a big forward lunge and bending both legs at 90 degrees. I'm actually tapping the floor each time just to ensure that I get really low. The lower you get, the more you're activating those glute muscles, the biggest muscles in our body, the glute muscles. And as you can see, my pup Hudson came over and threw me off a little bit. He's laying right on my mat, so I had to shift over a little bit. And I think I'm actually, yeah, stepping right over his paw there. <laughs> All the greater of a challenge for these forward lunges. So for this one, we're doing 12 on each side. Getting nice and low, but keeping that back very straight, as straight as possible, trying not to round through the lower back, we wanna protect the back using the core and the legs and not compromising the lower back. Whew, good work. Okay, set one down. Now we've gotta grab those dumbbells again and we're gonna load them right up on top and here we go stepping out to our squat taps two three four we're gonna go for 12 good work guys staying low keeping the core engaged pulling the belly button to the spine nice and controlled so we're not bouncing we're really stepping into that squat and stepping back in and then we shift to the left side. Step it out. Stay low. So in this move, we're working the glutes, the hamstrings, the quads, the calves, all those stabilizer muscles all up and down our legs that run through our hips and the core. Like I said before, loading these dumbbells on our shoulders. I've got pretty heavy dumbbells there. That's 15 pounds each. And that will certainly make your core light up if you're doing it right. Okay, now we're going right back to that sprinter's lunge. So big forward step, bending both legs, alternating legs, keeping the back nice and straight. 
and breathing. A lot of people, when we're working out, forget to breathe efficiently. So we want to take a big inhale on the way out, big exhale as you push back, as you step together. Always try to sync your breathing with the movement to get the most out of each exercise. Help bring oxygen to those muscles and help them work the most efficiently as possible. Almost there. Few more reps. This is really a burnout. Even with no weight, this was a tough one. Good work. Okay, shaking out those legs. We've got one more set. So grabbing those 15 pound dumbbells for me. And of course it's okay if you're not using any dumbbells. This can also be a body weight. Move. Here we go. Last time through. 12 step squats to the right. Staying low. It helps if you smile. <laughs> Burns more calories if you smile. I'm always so thankful on the last set because it's the last set. <laughs> we don't have to do this exercise anymore today. Squat taps to the left. Stay low, especially as you get tired, as you feel your legs kind of start to fatigue. Take deep breaths to signal to your central nervous system that everything is cool. We are good. We are working on our body. No problems here. All right, glad to be done with those. Set the dumbbells down. Give those legs a little shake. And then we're gonna go right into our last move of the circuit. Stepping forward into that sprinter's lunge. This is two and two. Good work, we're going to 12. Three and three. Four, four. In lunges, really thinking about pulling the belly button to the spine. The core should be nice and strong because we're in that staggered stance position, which can be compromising for the lower back if your core is not engaged. It's gonna help you balance and feel more stable, especially because we're moving this lunge forward and backward. The core should be active the whole time. there. A few more reps of the sprinter's lunge. Finish strong. Beautiful. All right, there we go. Grab a sip of water. I know I was out of breath at this point. Deep breath, lots of fresh water. And then we're going to go for our cardio burst. Thirty seconds cardio burst is jumping lunges. Stick with it, guys. Nice and light on your toes. As soft of a landing as possible. You can tell I'm doing this workout in bare feet, which is really good for strengthening and stabilizing all those little muscles in our feet and our ankles. But it can be harder. <laughs> Certainly affecting our balance. Almost there. All right, 30 seconds it is. Good work. All right. Okay, for this next step, we're gonna need a set of heavy dumbbells. So I have 20 pound dumbbells here, and we're gonna be doing a stiff Okay, here we go. Circuit number two. I'm gonna grab those heavy dumbbells 
and we're doing a stiff legged RDL. So feet slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Back stays nice and straight. That's the key for any deadlift. Your back stays straight. So you're hinging at the hips, pushing the hips way back, weights in your heels, slight bend in the knees. So we never wanna lock out the joints. You want the muscles to be working. So hinging the hips back, loading the hamstrings, and then standing up tall, squeeze the glutes as you stand. All right, then we've got eight single-legged, stiff-legged deadlifts on each side. This is pretty challenging with a heavy weight. Like I said, you can do any and all of these exercises with no weight, just your body weight if you choose, and it will be plenty challenging enough. Just listen to your body, know where you're at, know where you want to begin, and if you're able to push yourself out of your comfort zone a little bit, that's wonderful. That's how you build muscle, that's how you make change. So it's falling over a little bit. <laughs> now we're started, so we've got eight single leg deadlifts on each side, and this is a poor, representation of it because from the side my leg looks kind of bent kind of floppy back there but you really want to keep your hips square to the mat so from the side it kind of does look like my legs turning open a little bit but watch how my toe is still pointing towards the ground that's how you stabilize in this exercise so you don't fall over and then we go ahead round two grab your other heavy dumbbell and we've got 10 stiff-legged deadlifts. Squeeze the glutes at the top. So really squeeze those butt cheeks together. And again, like I said about syncing your breathing with the movement, you're gonna inhale on the way down, big exhale to engage the core as you stand up. Inhale, deep exhale. Last one, beautiful. And then we're gonna set that one dumbbell down. Oh, that was not the last one. <laughs> there we go. Set the one dumbbell down. And then we're going eight single leg RDLs on each side. So stay grounded in that front foot. Pulling the belly button towards the spine will help engage the core and help that stabilization. Good. Nice work. So you're still hinging at the hip. Your back still stays nice and straight. The leg and the upper body go at the same rate, at the same time. So you don't wanna just lift your leg up and then hinge, or hinge and then lift your leg up. Everything happens in one swift movement, but nice and controlled. Same as the standing leg, uh, the both, both feet on the ground, stiff-legged deadlift. You're going to inhale on the way down, and then exhale as you stand. Use that core, really deep exhale, to engage the core. Protecting the spine and engaging as many muscles as we can. And we've got one more set for those two exercises, this big superset here. Last time through, stick those hips way back. Squeeze the glutes as you stand. Squeeze the glutes, beautiful. You're activating all the glute muscles. There's three big sets of glute muscles there. If you're not getting the contraction, you're not getting the most bang for your buck out of the workout. You've gotta squeeze that muscle, get that contraction. Okay, last time through for the single leg RDLs here. 
So you need to hold the dumbbell in the hand of the leg that's going back. If you're holding it to that other side, it's more likely that you're gonna flop open. We wanna keep the hips and the shoulders and the toe square to the ground as you're hinging. So countering that weight in that dumbbell, having the dumbbell in the opposite hand as the standing leg helps you counter, stay a little more stable. Last side, eight reps on this side. This is my more windier side or my wobbly side. That's okay, we're all very asymmetric. We've got one dominant side naturally. Just notice it in yourself. And although I didn't do this, I do recommend that you start with your weaker side or your wobblier side first. So you can focus on concentrating and using most of your energy on that side where it's more difficult. Woo! We are done with that superset. Now we've got our burst. Now, get ready for our 30 second cardio burst, which is gonna be skaters. Side to side skaters. Okay, so this is just your body weight, no dumbbells. 30 seconds, lateral skaters, and go. So starting on one leg, hopping laterally to the other foot. So going for distance and balance. Really trying to challenge that balance. Landing with a nice soft knee, bending that knee almost like a single leg squat. I'm tapping the floor here as you can tell, making sure I get nice and low. Almost there, last few reps. Feel that heart pumping, and we're done. Good job, guys. Okay, for our next set, you're gonna need a set of heavier dumbbells. So I'm gonna use 15 pound dumbbells. We're just gonna be holding them in our hands at our sides. So we're not curling them or pushing them overhead. So they can be heavier whenever you're using um, your big muscle groups, such as your legs. You can use heavier weight. Don't be scared, that's how you make the change, that's how you see the improved muscle and tone and definition in those beautiful, beautiful bodies. So I'm gonna grab 15 pound dumbbells, we're gonna be doing a reverse lunge, and then we're gonna be doing a stationary lunge with a hip extension variation. So that's our big superset. And our cardio burst is gonna be squat jumps for 30 seconds. So let's get to it. Okay, superset three, ready to rock and roll. Grab your dumbbells, we're doing a reverse lunge. So we're just holding the dumbbells by our sides for a little added extra resistance. I've got 15 pounds in each hand. And then keeping one foot still, stepping the other foot back into a lunge. Getting nice and low, pressing through that front heel. Weight should be in your front heel. Whenever you're doing a squat or a lunge, you should be able to feel like you can wiggle your toes in your shoes. So your weight should be back in your heels. That's the straight line to the glutes. So once your leg bends, making the work primarily happen in that glute, the biggest muscle in our body, the gluteus maximus muscle. We're doing 12 on each leg here. Form, 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 form over speed always. And I'll say it again, you do not have to do this exercises with weights. You can use just your body weight and get as good of a workout in, for sure. So don't be shy. If you're uncertain or if, if your dumbbells are too heavy for these certain exercises, or if you just wanna focus on form, that's certainly what I would encourage my clients to do. If I had a beginner client, we would not use dumbbells. We would just use our body weight. And so for the second move, we're doing lunge to a hip extension. So that is lifting the back leg off the ground and just focusing on squeezing that glute behind you. So in this case, the right glute. 
you're in a stationary lunge, your left leg is not moving. And then we're lifting and squeezing that glute. And squeeze. Bend and squeeze. So we're really targeting that isometric contraction. Squeeze. Not isometric contraction, but we are targeting that contraction of that glute in the second part of this move here. Now I'm going to the other side. Right legs forward. Bend and squeeze. Nice job. Doesn't seem like much, but let me tell you, I was dripping sweat in this portion of the workout. <laughs> that is a good sign. We're moving all those big muscles, the glutes, the quads, the hamstrings, the calves are even working. Very thorough leg workout here with a glute focus. Good, all right, shake those legs out. Set two, here we go, grab your dumbbells. And we're doing that reverse lunge. Three, four, getting nice and low, five, six, seven, we've got 12, eight, nine, nice, 10, 11, last one. Good work. All right, we're going to the other side. Reverse. Two. Nice work. Getting low. Even better if you can do it in bare feet. <laughs> it will certainly help strengthen those feet and those ankles. So if you are someone that feels like they have weak ankles, which I do, I've broken my right ankle a few times through dance and other <laughs> living room gymnastics escapades. I do try to work out in bare feet when I can because it does strengthen all those little stabilizer muscles in the feet and the ankles and the lower calf beneficial whenever you can. Obviously, I'm in my home, so I can do it. If you're at a gym, some gyms may frown upon it. But I'd give it a try if you're, if you're daring. <laughs> Here we are with the reverse lunge. Hip extension. Squeeze. In this video, I'm so surprised. It doesn't look like I'm doing much here, but this was really burning my legs, especially by this point in the workout. Step back into that stationary lunge, then we bend and squeeze. Bend and lift. Bend, squeeze that glute. So don't just lift and kind of passively go through this workout. I encourage all of my clients to really channel that mind-muscle connection. So for this one, we're really focusing on that glute, the glute of the leg that we're raising behind you. So you really wanna squeeze, focus, picture, picture that muscle squeezing as you lift the leg off the ground. Awesome work. Okay, we've just got one more set, one more super set of this combo here. And that is the reverse lunge. Back to the reverse lunges. One last time, you can kind of see I'm sweating there, glistening. <laughs> I was dripping sweat by this point. Doing single leg work is really important because it forces your muscles to work unilaterally, individually. So a lot of times when we squat or deadlift or do anything with both feet on the ground, it's easier for our stronger side to compensate. So naturally, humans always find the path of least resistance and forcing one leg to work at a time forces that strength, forces those weaker sides to really kind of pull their own weight. They can't rely on the stronger side. It's always good to incorporate unilateral movements in the upper body, the lower body, 
in the core. We have a stronger side of our core as well. All right, done with those reverse lunges. Last time for the hip extensions, the stationary lunge to the hip extension. So find the sweet spot, bend, lift, bend, lift and squeeze. This is a good glute builder, glute burner. If you're looking to get stronger glutes, if you've got any back pain, if you're a runner, this is a really good thing to do. Glutes are the biggest muscle in our bodies. They should be the most powerful and the strongest. So a lot of times if you have back pain, it's because your glutes are too weak. All right, other side. Right foot forward, left foot steps back, stationary lunge and lift. Lunge and lift. Lunge and lift. We are almost there, guys. I'd say we're, we're pretty close to the home stretch. We've got one more little cardio burst after this. And that's going to be squat jumps to elevate our heart rates. Good work. Form over speed always. Getting low and then squeezing that glute. All right, we're done with that superset. There we go. I'm going to set my timer. And then we're going to go to our cardio burst. Just 30 seconds. Three, two, and go. So I'm doing an out-in squat jump. I'm getting nice and low. I'm tapping the floor in between each time so I ensure that I get my booty low. I'm a tall girl and when I was a dancer, I would always get in trouble for being, uh, <laughs> not getting low enough. So I'm very conscious of that now. Bending into the legs, sitting the booty back. Tapping the floor in between, nice and light on the toes. And there we go. listening but I was dripping sweat on that last set I hope you're still hanging in there with me we have one more big superset to go no little cardio burst at the end just a superset for the glutes so let's get this ladies let's do it and we're in the home stretch give it all you got for this set we're just gonna need one heavy dumbbell so I'm gonna use one 20 pound dumbbell and then our second move no dumbbells Okay, last superset here, all about the booty. Lying on your back, feet slightly wider than shoulder width apart, pressing through the heels, lifting the hips as high as you can, and I mean as high as you can. Do not do this as a passive exercise. You've got a lot of muscle back there to engage, so pressing the hips through, all the way through to the ceiling, Squeeze the glutes at the top. We're doing 15 reps here with a dumbbell over your lap. Heavy dumbbell. I've got a 20 pound dumbbell there. Lift and squeeze. Building that booty, building that strength in the biggest muscles in our bodies. Then we set the dumbbell aside and we flip it over to a tabletop position. And we're going to do a single leg donkey kicks. So, trying to keep that nice straight back, you have that natural curve in your spine, in your lumbar spine, your lower back, so it's going to look like there's a curve there, but you really want to try to keep it straight and protect the lower back to, to isolate the glute muscle. So you could easily kind of rock it back and forth, use momentum, and, and not really use the muscles, but we're trying to isolate, keep the body still as the leg is pumping up and down using the glute muscle as the primary mover. So we're really squeezing that glute each time we reach it to the ceiling. And then we've got 15 more glute bridges with that dumbbell. Dumbbell over the hips, 
lift and squeeze, two, three, nice and controlled, so you know, don't want to do any of these moves too fast, you really want to be very intentional and mindful, thinking about the muscles that we're working here, so for this one, is it all about the glutes, glute ma maximus, glute medius, the hamstrings are working in there too. They're helping, supporting those glute muscles. Beautiful. And we're gonna set that dumbbell aside and flip back over to the tabletop. Single leg donkey kicks. Squeeze. Two, three, four. Nice. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve on each side. Yeah, gotta stretch that side out a little bit. Good work. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. So trying to keep that foot flexed. So we're really targeting that glute muscle. Nice work. One more time, guys, for the superset. You can do it. Here we go. Lift and squeeze. Exhaling the out breath as you lift the hips to the ceiling. Lift and exhale. Nice work. You're almost there. This is the home stretch for sure. There's no cardio burst after this. This is our last round and you've been killing it. If you're still here, if you're sticking with me. Last few reps here. Lift and squeeze. And then we're done with that dumbbell. One more move. Flip it over, single leg donkey kicks. Really squeezing, squeezing, squeezing that glute very intentionally, not just kicking it back and hoping for the best. We are intentional about which muscles we're working. And this is a booty workout. So we really want to get that contraction. Squeeze. Almost done. Last few pumps here. Make it count. Give it all you got. And rest. Finito. Well done, everyone. Fabulous job. Awesome job, guys. I'm so proud of you if you did that whole workout with me. I feel amazing. My legs feel a little wobbly, so I'm definitely going to go stretch. Certainly take five to ten minutes to stretch your hamstrings, glutes, and quads. Um, that was a very thorough workout, so make sure you're drinking lots of water and getting lots of good fuel after this. So yummy carbs, lots of fruits and vegetables, lots of water-based fruits and vegetables will help with recovery too, so you're not too sore. So if you're not already, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more great videos like this one. All right, see you in my next workout. Bye!